So this is where things get really excited. We've learned about what WordPress is, we've learned about domain names and hosting, but now how we're going to put down the foundation to actually start building that website. And in this section, we're going to look at what is the best theme to use and what is the best theme builder, um, page builder to actually put that layout together when we start building in a couple of lessons time. So first of all, I want to introduce you to Theme Forest. Now Theme Forest is a massive marketplace with thousands and thousands of themes available. And you only have to search for say, in our instance, Photography Studio. And you'll see however many items that are available, 333 Photography Studio templates for you to flick through now. The problem is with a lot of these templates or themes for WordPress is they're very clunky, they're very heavy. They use uh, a, a builder system that's just bolted into the original WordPress and they're, they're quite heavy in weight, meaning that the heavier the website is, the slower the website is going to load and you're going to miss some of those Google Core Vitals, especially when we're looking at stuff like a photography website. Now, it doesn't matter what industry you're in. You could be looking for a plumber, for example. There's going to be themes available, but are they going to be able to cut? Now, once a lot of these you've used the theme, everybody could buy that theme and all your competitors have the same looking website you're just changing some images and logos and text to separate you from your competitor and that's not really what we want for your small business so let's have a look at some of the more popular options now aveda i used aveda for probably five six years um, as my go-to builder it was incredible when it was a back end and then they started bringing out more features which in theory is fantastic but it just got heavier and heavier and i felt that page speeds were slowing down they were starting to get bugs uh, particularly when i was um, using the live builder that it's displaying here on this page and it just wasn't quite flexible enough for really punching out that extra bit of sexiness. The other options that we looked at when it started coming away from Aveda was Astra. Astra is a very popular um, WordPress theme for professional web developers as well. It's got lots of uh, starter templates, there's a pro version, lots of different features, and it's very lightweight. But it just didn't quite work for me, it didn't fit my needs, and um, it wasn't what I was sort of looking for. Ocean became probably one of the um, high contenders. It's uh, very lightweight, um, there's, it's very fast, and it gives you a lot of features. And it has a lot of demos available as well, but all of these demos are built on um, Elementor. So you can flick through, choose a few different ones, but again, it just quite an, it, it was it was great for what it needed to be. But I just felt there's got to be something more vanilla, just more plain. That's all I needed was something a bit more plain. Well, that's where luckily Elementor, which is the page builder I wanted to use because of its flexibility, its add-ons and its power, brought out what we call the Hello Elementor theme. And that is what we're going to recommend that you use moving forward for this uh, project. So to install that, we go, so we go to appearances and we go to themes and then we'll see that the 2021 and maybe a couple of 2020 and the 2019 may be installed on your uh, WordPress install already. Now, if you're using my hosting, you'll see that Hello Elementor theme is already installed as well as Hello Elementor and Hello Elementor Pro. You get to use that as well, part of the package. But if you're using another server, you'll have something like one or two themes, the 2020 from the WordPress theme already. So we're gonna add a new theme and you'll see that on the top line, um, or if it's not displaying, just search for hello theme 
and you'll see that the hello elemental theme will come up in the respiratory. We're just going to press install. That's going to install and then we're going to activate it and make that the active theme on our website. Now you might have, like I say, two or three other options here, but just go through and click theme details and just delete any other themes because we only need one theme. There's no point in using up space on your server and slowing everything down by having unactive themes and plugins. Now, Hello Theme uses Elementor. That is the only theme builder that works for this theme but it's designed to be a blank canvas nothing at all but a blank canvas which is great for what we want to use to have something that's unique when we build it so it's not the same as our competitors websites from a theme that they could go and buy as well but also have the power of the elementor page builder which is what we want to be using it is by far the best at the moment so have a look through all of the features on elementor.com of what you can do, drag and drop, and all different. I mean, it's a fantastic website, a great community of help for everything you can think of. But we'll go a bit more into detail of how we use Elementor in our process when we're in that fifth lesson to show you how we use Elementor to build that website, because we'll be using this theme and Elementor, the page builder, when we build that first website during that lesson now one more thing that we need to do once we've installed um elemental theme hello elemental theme we need to install the elemental plugin so we go to plugins add new and we're going to search for elementor and you'll see so in the Westbury, you'll see Elementor Work Website Builder. There's lots of additional um, extras that you can plug into it as well. Um, hundreds and hundreds of add-ons. It's there's some fantastic ones. But in the next lesson, when we talk about plugins and the essential plugins that we we need to actually build a website, we'll go into some of the optional ones as well to move forward. Now you'll see I've already got this installed, but the same as the theme, all you need to do is install, and then once it's installed, click activate. And that's it. Elementor is active. I've got the pro version. I'm not going to install it at this point because I'm going to show you how to build it from everything from a free version. Uh, I don't want you to really have to deal with any additional costs. And then from there, we can move on, discuss some of these plugins that are in this respiratory for the in the next chapter and discuss the essential ones and why you need them. And then after that, in the fifth episode we're going to look at building a website from start to finish for your small business